Hey guys, I'm Chris from Armory Studios. I'm the guy who did the motor, the design I'm going to show you in this video. And yeah, the motor. The motor is a design we did for the Black Tank Corporation. A little merchandise we got from them. I'll post a link to the description. Post a link to the description? No, I'll post a link to their website in the description. And the motor stands for Medium Modular Tactical Assault Weapon. Um, it's a design I'm pretty proud of, so let's start right away. Here we go, have fun. Let's start at the front of the weapon. The motor comes with a variety of muzzle flash suppressors. Here you see the standard two-hole horizontal suppressor. Let's change it to a Y suppressor. If you really want a brute look on your gun, Change it to a Moton 9 suppressor, which eliminates all sight blast. If I want to attach a lot of gear to my weapon, I need additional rails on the side. And I also attach a front grip instead of the sling attachment point. For additional comfort, you can add different grip shapes. As you can see, I also added a reflex side on the top rail of the weapon. The motor features a retractable 6 position lock rifle stock, which is pretty easy to handle and is also fully collapsible. After I took off my iron sights, I want to shield my rails with some rail covers. I collapse the stock once again, just so you can see that it does not interfere with any of the moving parts of the weapon. You can only collapse it when it's fully retracted, otherwise it would block the ejection window. What you also might have noticed is that we got two ejection windows, one on each side. This is for the ambidextrous use. So you can switch the ejection side with this little switch here. If you want to use the weapon on mid-range, you can attach a longer barrel. And while at it, I also attach a mid-range scope on the motor. For covert ops, there is also a high efficiency silencer available which is a special development for the motor. It fits in the housing very tightly to ensure maximum sound suppression. Here I added a tactical flashlight on the left side of the weapon. And now let's remove all the stuff on the top rail and start adding the cool stuff, the high-tech stuff. Here we got a laser projector. Behind which we mount the top handle with an elevated iron sight. Now I remove the front grip and add another tactical light in a rail housing on the lower front rail. On which I then reattach the front grip. And now it gets a bit too bulky. You see we got two lights now so let's remove the tactical flashlight on the left side and replace it with a rail cover. For an additional snub-nosed look, let's add a Motor 9 suppressor again. Now the ones of you who have paid close attention to the lower part of the magazine will already have discovered the weird looking mechanism down there. This is where you connect several clips with each other. Now that you have learned about all the major features of the Motor, Let's just play around with the barrel lengths again. I personally prefer the shorter barrels. I don't know how you feel about it, but with the longer barrel it looks kind of like the M4. I know a lot of you guys out there like the M4 style, but I I rather stick with the MP5 style, so I prefer the shorter barrels. But this is just for the looks. I mean, this is just design talk, not usability talk. So if you need a mid-range weapon, you will stick to the longer barrel. So now I kick out all the stuff that is 
bulky and configure it to my liking. And that's it.